GM, in this one, we're gonna look at Stars Arena from Avalanche. So this is the brand new social fight application. You know, every chain has its kind of clone of friend tech. Avalanche is one here, Stars Arena, getting quite a bit of action though, and seems to be stealing quite a bit of mind share from friend tech. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. I haven't yet signed up, so I'm pretty much starting this as a virgin with you guys, and we'll see how it goes. So if you enjoy the content, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, and we'll just jump in. So I've quickly navigated to the web page from a referral link. I think it is best to join via a referral link because you can give a kickback to the person you come from. I'll leave my referral link down below, so please do use that. But let's just jump in here, log in with Twitter. So account abstraction is the name of the game here. You want things to be easy to onboard new users to your platform. So rather than having to log in with your Web3 wallet, Obviously, any normal person could log in with this as long as they've got a Twitter account. So I just need to authorize the app here. So it took a few seconds to load, and now I'm on this screen. There seems to be a bit of a swirling going on. Let's see if we can refresh the homepage. So first and foremost, we're getting a notification setting on here. I'll leave them off for the time being. And now you can actually follow individual accounts. So the main difference between this and friend tech that I understand is the fact that there is the social feed open to everyone. Whereas on friend tech, you have to own a key to be able to interact with individuals. You have an open feed, just like on Twitter, that is free to use. You don't have to actually deposit any minimum funds to get involved with Stars Arena. Again, a bit of a plus point for people with not a lot of money. Let's just follow a load of people on here to get the feed pop in a little bit. And we're going to look for blockmates as well. So using the search functionality. So you can see the blockmates boys have come up. The blockmates accounts, Jedi, Dan, and blockmates AVAX account. You can then see ticket price on here. So this is the same as a share on Frentech. Priced, of course, in AVAX because we're on the Avalanche chain. Grant here appears to be about 9 Avalanche. Let's just click into the profile and give him a follow. And if we just scroll down a bit, you can see on a profile the number of followers, how many people they're following. You can then see their Twitter following number as well. Their ticket price where you can buy. Let's have a little look at that. If I click on buy ticket, wallet has insufficient funds for transaction. Cool. So we need to fund the wallet here. But you can see he's been posting on here just like a Twitter feed. So there is some banter going on. This looks quite amusing. I will tip two AVAX to the funniest joke in the comments. So a little bit of engagement farming going on. So across top now we have home. So this is going to give me my feed, I presume. Yes, as we can see, individuals are... I am following this is pulling up a feed on the feed we have the option to tip bookmark star so that would be essentially like a like button reposting and commenting let's have a look at tip function on here you can tip people if you enjoy their content which is pretty cool you can see you get a balance so i believe it is 0.066 that you get to start off with and so it looks like i can do a tip let's see if that works let's try and send that little tip over okay so tip sent down the bottom that worked a treat more on that in just a sec notifications none Inbox, obviously I haven't been using it yet, but we have the wallet tab across the top. So my wallet balance is very small currently. So what I would need to do is actually deposit some funds into here. Top left, you can see your individual deposit address. But if I click deposit down here, I'm assuming it's gonna just show me it on a different format. Yep, it's down here, QR code or I can copy paste from there. So remember, this is on the Avalanche chain. I'm gonna quickly show you how to bridge some funds in because I am a little bit prepared for this. We need AVAX tokens. They're roughly 10 bucks a pop. I've got some funds on a different chain here. Maybe you're in the same position, not got funds on Avalanche, but you've got them elsewhere. So over on Arbitrum, I've got around 90 bucks in US dollars. I'm just gonna convert the max amount over to the Avalanche chain in USDC. And via Stargate, they give you gas on destination. So I'll put some AVAX in that wallet as well. So that is handy for gas usage on the destination chain. So I'm gonna convert that over. So just click transfer and follow the on-chain instructions. Click through in the MetaMask account and approve, and then we'll have to approve the actual bridge function in just a sec when that pops up here. So there we go, really cheap as we are on Arbitrum moving to AVAX. So successfully just bridge some funds from Arbitrum USDC over to Avalanche C Chain. So AVAX, let's go and find the native DEX that is popular for this bad boy. Just finding my way over to Trader Joe as a DEX that I do trust on AVAX. AVAX, let's go and trade. Let's get some AVAX tokens and pump that into AVAX tokens. So around 95 bucks, getting me just under 
nine AVAX in total. And we'll swap that. And what I'm going to do is then send those funds to my Stars Arena deposit address. So I've managed to swap some dollars into AVAX. So I've got AVAX in my personal MetaMask wallet here. So I've got 8.8 .8 of them. And I'm just going to send them over directly to this account now. So deposit, copy it, and then send them from MetaMask into that address. So that should go through. I'll just refresh this. Okay, it's gone through straight away. 8.977 Avalanche is the balance. So balance on hand, what I want to do is buy some keys or as they're called on here, tickets. We'll actually go to search and I want to just find some relatively cheap-ish keys to buy. I recognize PC off of Twitter. I'm just going to grab his profile. 7.8, quite expensive to be fair. Buy ticket for 8.6. This is almost my whole stack. Let's just bid and then I've just bought his key. So now I can go into this button here where this brings up now the personalized private chat so we can have a discussion within there. So that is the advantage of owning the ticket. You can have the private DMs open and get some alpha maybe from some of these accounts. So that is the main deal with it. But if we just go to the top right over here, you can see airdrop, refer and earn tickets, all these good stuff. So the main reasons we're here though, let's not beat about the bush too much. Stars Arena is putting on some serious TVL. It's up over $1 million in the last 24 hours. And this opening weekend here right now, this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as this video goes out, I believe will be a big one for this as it is getting a lot of hype. It's catching up Frentech. And if we just go through to this article here, two things to be aware of. Number one, airdrop. Stars Arena incentivizes users through the airdrop program. We are all here to make money. And if they are going to airdrop the token of this platform, if it is successful, same exact thesis as Frentech, it's probably gonna be worth a bunch if it takes off. So you should be airdrop farming. How can we do this? Points are earned mainly through trading keys, creating posts, viewing threads, tipping, and other interactions. Other ways to earn airdrop points include referrals, trading volume, and ticket price and ticket volume. Very interesting. There's also a referral page as well where you can get 1% of your referred users' trading fees as well. So these are the main reasons why we're utilizing these things. So back here on the refer and earn, you can see I've got my account here. So I'm going to copy this and spam this down below for you to get involved with it. And then when you get onto this platform, get your referral link and spam that across networks as well. More points equals more prizes. Let's play along. It's a good bit of fun. So as we can see, this is essentially similar to Frentech, a little bit of a clone, but we have the public interface where you don't need to pay here similar to that of Twitter. So you could follow your favorite influencers without having to pay anything. And then if you do want to get the additional content and alpha, if there is any, then you would have to buy said ticket. But it looks like in the early innings of anything, there's usually a period where TVL absolutely skyrockets and you've got a good at least few days of making lots of money by buying people's shares or tickets or whatever they're called and then trying to flip them maybe a few days later. I think this weekend will be a big weekend for Stars Arena. And if you do want to enter the arena, check out the link down below. Make sure you do follow along with this video. Pretty easy and seamless to get involved with this. Nothing majorly hard. But if you do run into any troubles, do drop me a comment down below and I'll try and help you out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.